This is the relatively new Louis Armstrong New Orleans International Airport with the airport code MSY Travel Guide. In this airport travel guide, we'll cover MSY Airport and its ground transportation options. In this video, we'll provide information on directions and tips and information from our own experience to the Louis Armstrong New Orleans International Airport. Do you know during Mardi Gras they even have parades in the airport? Watch out for the beads! Like this video and write a comment. We really do want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to Hip Big. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the New Orleans, Louisiana Travel Guide Series. This episode is the Louis Armstrong New Orleans International Airport in Louisiana Helpful Guide for New Visitors. We took a plane from Seattle to MSY and arrived late in the evening on the week of Mardi Gras and on Valentine's Day. As we descended down to MSY, we could see the city lights all lit up, and we could also see the dark of the Gulf Coast with the lights of the tankers and other large ships. As we were landing, we were ready to pass a good time in NOLA, aka New Orleans. This phrase, pass a good time, is used by New Orleans natives when they feel it's time to start having some fun, and we were ready since this was our first time during Mardi Gras. But really, if I'm honest, New Orleans, or NOLA for short, is always ready for a good time. MSY, aka Louis Armstrong New Orleans International Airport, is located at One Terminal Drive, Kenner, Louisiana. It's about 11 miles west of downtown New Orleans. MSY covers 1,500 acres and was remodeled and rebuilt in the fall of 2019. The commercial section of MSY has one main terminal divided up into three concourses and has 35 gates. Departure and ticketing are on level three, TSA security screening is on level two, and international arrivals and baggage claim are on level one. Once we arrived at our gate, we disembarked our plane and arrived in Concourse C. There are lots of restaurants and cafes and shopping in the airport, favorites like Shake Shack and Chick-fil-A, and many more. Unfortunately, the stores and shops and restaurants were closed when we arrived past 11 p.m. FYI, international flights are located in Concourse A. Arriving international passengers should follow the signs for U.S. Customs and Border Protection passport control. After clearing immigration, proceed to collect your bag and clear U.S. Customs. If New Orleans and vicinity is not your final destination and you have a connecting flight, after clearing Customs, drop your bags at the interline lobby belt directly outside U.S. Customs to recheck your bags for your U.S. domestic connecting flight. If New Orleans is your final destination, after exiting U.S. Customs, you will be on the first level of the main terminal. FYI, there is free Wi-Fi in the MSY airport, and all signs are clearly marked, written in English. Throughout the airport, there are modern electronic arrival and departure real-time flight information displays. Once off the plane and in Concourse C, we continue to follow the signs for baggage claim and ground transport. We walked down and continued past the security area. We walked down to the center 
of the terminal and took the escalators to the baggage claim hall on the first level. Our first impression of this newly built airport was wow! The hall is massive and is open with bright lights and a heavenly aesthetic. Yeah. Even though it was late here, the airport was still bustling with lots of people. Baggage claim is behind the two escalators and on the south side of the main terminal. You could tell that people were excited to be in uh, Louisiana at this time of the year and there was a lot of laughter. Once we claimed our bags, we walked to the center of the terminal. On the east side of the terminal, by doors 1 through 5, you'll find the airport shuttle kiosk and information desk. You can purchase a downtown hotel shuttle here, which is currently $24 each way to downtown hotels. This includes three bags. If interested, you can book private limousine service here too. Pickup location is outside of doors 1 through 5. There are also several courtesy shuttles that go to off-site parking and hotels. Courtesy shuttles are also located outside from doors 1 through 5 in different zones. There's also public bus service from the airport. The Jefferson Transit aka Jet Bus Route E1 costs $2 per person each way. The New Orleans RTA aka Norda Express bus route 202 cost $1.50 per person one way. Please pay in cash or purchase tickets online ahead of time. There are also nine daily departures and service usually ends at 6.30 p.m. The bus stops for both at the airport are located at level two in the middle walkway of the outside lane closest to the exit by the Concourse C lobby information booth. Please check for more detailed information from the JET and Norda websites. Back inside the main terminal during the day, there's usually live music entertainment on the central stage. It's located across the giant mural of a swamp. Take a picture here if you get a chance. If you walk up further north inside the terminal, you'll find the parish provisions for water, snacks, and other essentials. And if you continue further north of the terminal, you'll find door six, which leads to the short-term parking garage and the pet relief area. If you go out to the west side of the main terminal, doors seven through 11, you'll find passenger pickup areas for arriving passengers. Out of door seven, you'll find the taxi stand roadside in zone one. At door 9 in zone 2, which is the middle island across the street from door 9, is where you can find the lift pickup area to your left. To the right, you will find the pickup area for Uber in zone 3. The rental car center is on the south side of the MSY airfield which is about 10 to 15 minutes away by shuttle bus. To get to the rental car shuttle pickup area we cross the street from door 9 and follow the signs for the long-term garage and then made a right to the rental car shuttle pickup area. There were so many people waiting that we missed the first shuttle, but even late in the evening, the next shuttle arrived within 15 minutes. We drove south of the airport for a while and you get a sense of how large the airport is here. We arrived at the rental car center within 15 minutes.
The people who came to rent cars were really excited to be here, and so were we. Unfortunately, our enthusiasm was doused by the time we had to wait to get to our car. Once we got there uh, into the center, we had to wait a long time for our car as there weren't that many people working late in the evening and there were a lot of people uh, waiting for our cars, which was a bummer. Travel tip. If you know that you're going to rent a car, make a reservation ahead of time. Deals are usually offered online and it will also save you time. Once we got our rental car though, we were off to our hotel in downtown New Orleans. As they say in NOLA, laissez les bon temps roller. Let the good times roll. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.